Hey, it's your boy back with another run popular K-pop opinions video. I am never going to let this trend die even if all my videos about them flop because I'm opinionated as fuck. But whatever. Let's just get into the video. 1. Blackpink need to disband. YG clearly doesn't know what he's doing with them and they're never going to release a full album. YG underestimated how popular they were going to get and still refuses to use their fame to his advantage. He needs to stop wasting their time and just end their contracts. 2. JYP isn't nearly as great as everyone thinks he is. Everyone praises him for being the best out of the big three but he overworks the hell out of his groups too. Jung Yun literally cried on a Live because of how overworked twice are. It was also discovered he was and still is friends with R. Kelly and sent the Wonder Girls to his house when they were all underaged. Everyone talks about how much SM overworks their idols but Red Velvet had three comebacks last year and twice had eight. He is literally starting to become the most inhumane out of all the big three groups. Stop ignoring how problematic he is. 3. Pledis and YG are tied for the worst companies. They both keep their most popular groups in the dungeon for no reason and they are both meninists. Kyle Kyung, a member of Pristin, even said that before she signed with Pledis she and her parents thought it was a scam and she turned out to be right. And YG doesn't even need an explanation he just hates women. Both companies can go to hell. 4. E Dawn won't be successful if he debuts as a soloist. He got the bulk of his popularity from dating Hyuna and Pentagon didn't have a huge fan base when he was still a part of it. All his fame stems from Hyuna and if he had been caught dating anyone from Cube aside from her he would have been kicked out and labeled as another burnout rookie. Sorry but it's the truth. 5. This isn't unpopular. But for the last fucking time twice don't need to change their concept. I'm so sick of people demanding twice do a girl crush concept just because they want them to. Blackpink only do one concept but you'll never complain about that. If you don't like cute concepts then don't stand them. It's that simple. 6. Mama 2018 was boring. Neither SM or YG artists were there and the artists from those companies were easily some of the most anticipated. And while I stand both BTS and TWICE and they got a lot of awards, it was basically the BTS and TWICE show. I love both groups but there were awards they won that I don't think they deserved. I wish there were more award shows like the KMAES that actually give out awards based on the recommendations of actual music critics and not how many votes an idol or group gets. Because if there were, a lot of awards won by BTS and twice at award shows would have gone to SM artists. I don't want to bash either group but it's true. 7. Big Hit are horrible at promoting BTS to their international fans and if BTS didn't have the success they do now they would be flopping. This isn't hate towards BTS. I love them with my whole heart and the way Big Hit promotes them isn't their fault. But Big Hit does close to nothing for BTS fans that aren't Japanese or Korean. They refuse to add subtitles to their bangs and bombs so fans who don't speak Korean have to wait until translators subtitle them. And Big Hit have even taken down subtitled banged and bombs and color coded lyric videos and told translators to stop adding subtitles to their videos even though they can't be bothered to do it themselves. BTS only come to America 3 or 4 times a year for award shows and maybe a tour, and as for armies in Latin America, Europe, Africa, and any part of Asia that isn't Korea or Japan, don't even think about seeing them more than once a year or at all. Big Hit need to do a better job of promoting to their non-Korean and Japanese fans. They are lucky BTS are as popular as they are, or the only places they'd be touring is Korea and Japan. 8. Who gives a fuck if idols don't write their own songs? You'll keep trying to drag other people's faves for not writing their own music. But if your fav who writes their own music is shitty and their fave who doesn't write their own music is good then who really won? Maybe my fave doesn't write their own music and yours does. But maybe my fave is an amazing singer and performer and yours only has half the vocals and stage presence mine does so again. Who really won? Also. Not every idol wants to have a part in writing or composing the songs they sing. Believe it or not some people train and become idols for the sole purpose of performing and that's fine. Some idols are okay with singing songs other people wrote and composed and there's nothing wrong with that. Stop acting like you can't be talented if you don't write your own music. 9. SM idols are almost always the best in K-pop. Say what you want about SM entertainment we all know how shitty they are. But SM idols are ridiculously talented and they have the best discographies in K-pop. 
There are very few groups that rival the talent of SM idols. 10. Stop fucking calling I you a bitch for not responding to Jungkook's ending scene cover. I love Jungkook so much that boy has my whole heart. But IU is not required to give Jungkook any sort of attention because he covered her song. All IU does is exist and you bitches are under her music videos and Instagram talking about how much Jungkook loves her. Stop it. IU is not required to kiss your oppa's ass just because you think he deserves it. Leave her alone. 11. Namjoon is the best rapper in BTS. I know everyone thinks it's Yumbi, and I think he is a great rapper as well. But I think Namjoon is more consistent in his performance than Yoongi is. Just listen to this. I don't understand why Blackpink are going on a world tour. They have 9 fucking songs. It'll take tops 30 minutes to perform all of them. What the hell are they supposed to do for the rest of the concert? If you have ever been to a Blackpink concert please let me know what they do after the 30 minutes they spend performing their own music. 13. Red Velvet have stage presence. You'll watch use the same 3 performances as your reasoning for shitting on them. But you completely ignore the dozens of performances where they're giving it their all. Honestly the opinion that Red Velvet have no stage presence is so tired and overplayed and it needs to die. They have stage presence. You'll are just selective the performances you watch. 14. Stop making Big Hit out to be the perfect company. So men and O'James are under the impression that Big Hit are so humane with BTS and give them enough time to rest, eat and visit family and friends when BTS themselves have literally said they're always working. Not to mention they literally just finished a world tour just to go on another one in 3 months. Big hit overworks than just like SM and JYP. Stop making them out to be angels just because you're uncomfortable with the idea that BTS would ever be tired or overworked. 15. Stop saying Red Velvet have no chemistry. This gets on my fucking nerves so damn much. I always see boy group stands saying this and I can't say I'm surprised. You'll never watch Red Velvet's reality TV show and haven't watched any of their weekly idol episodes. You only know them from award shows and you don't stand them or even listen to their music. You know nothing about the members and can't even remember their names. But from the two seconds you spend paying attention to them you could magically tell that they don't like each other. Right. Gotcha. Just say you can't find a valid reason to hate them and go. 16. Blackpink were never that great. Every unpopular opinion video talks about how Blackpink are getting boring or becoming underwhelming. In my opinion they were never all that. When D4 dropped I tried standing them. I listened to their music and watched their music videos. And they were honestly not that good to me. Everyone talks about Blackpink like they were so promising when they debuted. But in my opinion they weren't. They weren't bad. But a lot of y'all talk about Blackpink like they were a million times better back in 2016 when they weren't. 17. People who stan SM groups need to stop complaining that their faves don't get to help write and compose their own songs. Yes I know it sucks. My old group is Red Velvet and it makes me sad that whenever Yeri tries to help out with songwriting they reject her. But you have to look at the bigger picture. SM arguably produces the most talented idols and the best songs in the whole K-pop industry. Their groups are known for being revolutionary and they are trendsetters. So naturally they have a team of extremely talented songwriters and composers that write songs for their groups. And having one of their idols write their songs could possibly mess up the flawless discography almost all of their groups have. I know it's sad that idols under SM who want to write songs and compose can't. But there is a reason SM groups are some of the best in K-pop, and it's because their music is handcrafted specifically for that group's concept. 18. Big Hit is not part of the big three and likely never will be. Big Hit have one really successful group and that is BTS. And while they are making a lot of money off BTS that really doesn't mean anything. Big Hit is new money and the big three are old money. If you've ever read The Great Gatsby you know what I'm talking about. Big Hit may be making more money than the big three, but the amount of revenue they're making means nothing. Big Hit has no reputation compared to the big three, SM, YG, and JYP. 
all have had multiple successful groups slash soloists, the amount of influence they have on the K-pop industry is enormous and they are trendsetters, big hit have next to no influence and have yet to set any major trends, not to mention they don't accept female trainees which puts them at a huge disadvantage compared to the big three, BTS made K-pop known internationally, but they have yet to do anything completely different from any past or current boy group and big hit have yet to do anything that would challenge any of the companies in the big three. 19. Stop saying X member can't sing because they aren't the best in their group. So many of y'all think that just because someone isn't the main vocalist of their group means that they're a bad singer which is fucking untrue. Just because they aren't the best singer in the group doesn't mean they're bad. It just means they aren't the best singer in that group. Stop questioning their talent because they aren't a lead vocalist. 20. You can be a K-pop fan if you only stan BTS and or Blackpink. But where it gets annoying is when stans of those groups who know nothing about K-pop start making bold ass claims about their faves. BTS are my favorite boy group and the only boy group I stan and they are extremely talented. And Blackpink have made some really great achievements in the short time since they've debuted. But stop giving them credit for literally everything. I have seen armies and blinks give BTS and Blackpink credit for trends they didn't start and achievements that aren't theirs. You can be proud of both groups and their accomplishments. But if you're going to say BTS and Blackpink started X trend make sure they actually started it. Because a lot of the time they weren't the ones who started it but they were the ones who popularized it. There's a difference. That's all for my opinions. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to you can have a respectful discussion down below. Also comment some of your own opinions if you want. Love you all. Bye.